everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Taurus, here are your cards for the week starting the 5th of June from the Teacup Tarot deck. And your overall energy here is the Seven of Coins. And this says, get busy and do the groundwork. This says you need to start your new projects and act on those new ideas. Even if you can't see the results yet, it's taking the time to take those first action steps and know that the harvest and the success from those will come at a later time. So it's doing the groundwork, no need to worry, and know the success will follow later on. Your help or your hurdle, the Eight of Coins card says, it, you really do need to pay attention to the small details. So this is crossing the T's, dotting the I's, reading the small print twice. When you take care of those small details, that can make a huge difference. So you need to be meticulous this week in your planning. Your guidance here, another mindfulness card, the Seven of Teacups this time, says you need to make wise and sensible choices. Step back, look at all the options first and then decide. So take your time over it. Now on the card here, look, she's doing just that. She's standing back and looking at all her options. Now in these teacups here, we have some lovely things like bars of chocolate or flowers or little stars. But there's a little cup at the front here with a grumpy gingerbread man in it. And she doesn't want to choose that one. So she's looking at all the other options first and taking her time. How can we help ourselves? Four of Wands is lovely. It's the card of celebration. It's the card of receiving with grace and gratitude. It's you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. And on the card here, she's been given a lovely bunch of flowers and a thank you balloon. Now, it's very easy to always be the giver. And it's just as importantly to receive. So this card here is you being appreciated and you saying thank you very much. Pulling it all together, we've got the Queen of Coins. Now, the Queens are authority figures in the deck. And the Queen of Coins absolutely personifies practicality, resourcefulness, grounded common sense, very home-focused, very family-focused. And anyone who comes into her orbit feels loved, cared for, and has all their needs met. So this could be you stepping up into this role of helping other people with your grounded common sense, resourcefulness, especially where home and family and work are concerned. Or it could be somebody coming in to help you with those qualities as well this week. Your final outcome card, the page of coin steps in. Now, the pages all bring a message and the page of coins brings the message to do the research, do the study, find out all your information. And very often they are pictured on a tarot card with a book. And here she is reading a book saying happy to learn. You need to find out the information. You need to do your homework this week. So just summarising the tarot cards first. Time to do the groundwork, plant the seeds, get a new project off the ground. Pay particular attention to the small details and do your homework. Read everything you know, need to know about it. Find out all the information. Then you're in a position to make a wise and sensible choice. 
use practicality, resourcefulness and grounded common sense. And those will help you with the success and you will be appreciated for those qualities as well. Here's a real card of celebration. So you're clearly going to take your time and be mindful before moving forward and just being that lovely beacon of common sense and help and support for other people this week. So we'll find out a little bit more from the Time to Shine deck. The Four of Emotions says, again, stand back. Look out for wonderful opportunities coming your way, but you need to stand back and look at the bigger picture. The Seven of Life, double message, same card, different deck. Plant the seeds, get busy, do the groundwork, and then know that the success will follow on after that. The Seven of Action says you might need to stand up for yourself this week. Think your choices through with care. Here it is again. Just asking you to take your time. You might need to be assertive a little bit, but when you're kind along with it, that's absolutely fine. So standing up for yourself, being gently and kindly assertive this week. The nine of action says, focus on self-belief and self-support. Keep going, stay determined, keep moving forward. You can do this. So have the self-belief and stay motivated. Getting organised is what the Four of Wisdom says. This is the Emperor card in a tarot deck. You stepping up, showing these leadership qualities, getting organised, making plans, staying disciplined. Now, the Emperor is ready to go at a moment's notice because everything is planned in advance. Everything has a place, everything's neat and tidy and organised. And those are the qualities that you need to be embracing this week. Your final outcome card here is another card of thinking it through, then deciding what you would like to do. The Two of Wisdom is the High Priestess card in a tarot deck. And this card again says, do your research. This is not the time for a rushed or a rash decision. Work it all out, read all about it, do your homework. And then when you have done, you are in a very good place to make sound wise choices, to get busy on these new projects, stay determined. And then look, here's the success following on from that. So some homework for you this week. Finding out information, wise and sensible choices, then getting organised, being resourceful, being practical, using your grounded common sense and knowing that the seeds are well planted and the success will come in divine and appropriate timing. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.